Good morning. Welcome to the 2021 Spring Commencement Exercises for the College of Business and Social Sciences. I'm Dr. Chris Michaelides, Associate Dean of the College of Arts, Education, and Sciences, and your announcer for this morning's ceremony. Commencement is a joyful occasion to recognize the graduates' years of study. It is meaningful to the university and its faculty, staff, and students. All guests and participants are asked to avoid unnecessary conversation and moving about during the ceremony. We also request that you wear your masks and turn off all cell phones. At this time, ladies and gentlemen of the audience, please rise and join the ULM Commencement Brass Ensemble, previously recorded in the Star Spangled Banner. You may be seated. Out of respect for all graduates and their families, please remain seated for the entire ceremony. And now it is my pleasure to introduce the Vice President for Academic Affairs, Dr. Alberto Ruiz. Good morning. Thank you, Dr. Michaelides. And I want to welcome everyone to the University of Louisiana Monroe, to the campus that I consider the most beautiful campus in this country. And I hope you enjoy your, your stay here. Please join me in thanking the ULN Commencement Committee, the Brass Ensemble, the staff of the Physical Plant, the ULN Computing Center, and the Office of Marketing and Communication for their contributions to today's ceremony. A round of applause, please. President Berry, it is my distinct pleasure to welcome those joining us today, either in person or online. Seated before us is the College of Business and Social Sciences Spring Class of 2021. We are got, gathered not only to honor their achievements, but also to honor their educational processes that made their achievements possible. Each of you here today has contributed in some way to the accomplishments of today's graduates. Foremost among that support group are the parents, spouses, and family members who have encouraged and in many instances sacrificed to make this day a reality. We would like to acknowledge this very important group by asking the parents spouses, and immediate family, family members of the spring class of 2021 to stand at this time. If your parent, family member, spouse, please stand up. I would like to thank you for your support of the graduate. It is appropriate to recognize a very important group of individuals watching online for their roles in educating these students. I ask that all students to show your appreciation of the faculty by your applause for the guidance, wisdom, 
and support received from the faculty during your time with us. Thank you. The distinguished graduates of the spring 2021 class can be identified by the maroon and gold honor cords they are wearing. With the cum laude candidates, please stand. If you graduate with a cum laude honor, please stand. These students maintain a 3.5 to 3.749 grade point average during their university careers. Congratulations, and you may be seated. Will the magna cum laude candidates please stand? Graduate magna cum laude, please stand. These students maintain a 3.75 to 3.899 grade point average during their university careers. Congratulations, and you may be seated. Will the summa cum laude graduates please stand? Candidate, please stand. These students maintain a 3.90 to a 4.0 grade point average during their university careers. Congratulations, and you may be seated. At this point in the program, I'm going to introduce a gentleman who is an alum of the University of Louisiana Monroe, and he is our leader, President Ron Berry. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Ruiz. Good morning and welcome. Uh, it's truly my pleasure to welcome each of you to campus and, today's, and to today's ceremony. Graduates, today is all about you. And it's about the academic process that brought us to this moment in time. It doesn't matter where you started. It doesn't matter how many times you changed your major. A few times, right? It doesn't matter how many times you doubted yourself. It only matters that you are here now. You persevered through some challenging times and you made it. Please know how proud we are of each of you for your accomplishments and how excited we are to see what your future holds for you. As your president, it is my hope that your future brings you joy, happiness, and of course, more success than you ever dreamed possible. Today's ceremony is full of traditions, from the robes we wear to the words we use, from the mace on stage to the chain of command around my neck. We are celebrating not only your accomplishments and success with these traditions, but the academic process itself. Another long-held tradition in academia is to honor educators and leaders who have provided distinguished service to the institution with a special title and status for life. This title and status is awarded to only a select few individuals who have dedicated their lives to improving education and the institution they serve. Upon retirement, this title forever links the individual to the institution and serves as a lasting reminder of the significant impact of that individual's life's work. At this time, would Dr. Stanley Williamson, Professor of Management, and Dr. Virginia Eaton, Professor of Computer Science, please stand. Today, because of your remarkable and distinguished service to ULM for always expecting the best from our students and the best for our students. And with great thanks and appreciation for your commitment to the important work of changing lives through education, it is my deep pleasure and honor to hereby confer upon you 
the title of Professor Emeritus. Please join me in thanking these two outstanding scholars for their commitment and contributions to ULM. It is now my privilege to introduce your graduation speaker. When I was first appointed president, one of the first important decisions to be made was who was going to lead your college. I have to say, if all of the decisions from that point were as easy as that one, life would surely be easy. Um, Dr. Peggy Lane, who has been serving as our associate dean, who had been serving as our associate dean of the college, had only been at ULM for three years. She joined the faculty as an associate professor of computer information systems and was quickly promoted to full professor. Prior to joining us at ULM, she had worked at numerous universities in various positions, including professor, even registrar, program director, to just name a few. She is known as an excellent teacher, a researcher, and truly excels in service to others. She began her academic journey when she earned her PhD in information systems from the University of Arkansas. Please join me in welcoming our speaker, Dr. Peggy Lane, Interim Dean of the College of Business and Social Sciences. Thank you, President Barry. Honored guests, friends, family, and most of all students, I'm honored to stand before you representing the College of Business and Social Sciences faculty to share a few words of wisdom with you today before you exit as graduates of ULM. Compiled through a faculty survey, conversations, and some research, we'd like to leave you with the following five thoughts. There's no quiz, but please listen. Number five, during your time at ULM, we hope you have discovered joy in learning and are now lifelong learners. We hope we have taught you to learn from books as well as from others and to think for yourselves. Wisdom can be gained from many places and people. To paraphrase Confucius, if I'm walking with two other people, each of them will serve as my teacher. I will pick out the good points of the one and imitate them and the bad points of the other and correct them in myself. Be a lifelong learner. Number four, be honest. It matters what you do when no one else is looking. To thine own self be true. If I asked you who wrote that, if you didn't remember, you would probably Google it and tell me it was from Shakespeare's play, Hamlet. You could also find the entire quote. This above all, to thine own self be true, and it must follow as the night the day. Thou canst not then be false to any man, end quote. Uphold your values. As we have all learned, into each life a little rain must fall. Accordingly, it is important to know yourself so that in dark times you are prepared and not disappointed in your reactions. Be honest with yourself and others. Don't you wonder what Shakespeare would have thought about being Googled? Number three. We hope that you find the sweet spot in life in doing what you excel in, what makes you happy, and what allows you to make a living. Don't be afraid to make mistakes, for as Henry Ford said, failure is simply the opportunity to begin again more intelligently. Wherever you go, whatever you do, do so with all your heart. Keep on keeping on. Sometimes this means focusing on just putting one foot in front of the other, and sometimes this means sprinting. Never give up. Be courageous. Number two, celebrate victories and laugh. Take time to be in the moment and have fun along the way. At a recent baseball tailgating party, one of our faculty members brought her one-year-old granddaughter along. The little girl worked and worked at going up the smallest step. Each time she made it, she was thrilled and performed a happy dance. As you work toward your destinations, take time to enjoy the journey, celebrate, laugh, and dance. Be happy. Number one, be kind and considerate, for both are contagious. Pay it forward as often as you can. To quote Martin Luther King Jr., 
Life's most persistent and urgent question is, what are you doing for others? Make others smile, for as Mother Teresa said, we shall never know all the good that a simple smile can do. Kind words can be short and easy to speak, but their echoes are truly endless. Be mindful of what you do, what you say, and how you say it. Be kind. Graduates, we care about you. You are loved and appreciated. Take care of yourselves and have a happy, healthy lifestyle. We are proud of your accomplishments and look forward to hearing about your successes and adventures. As our Beta Gamma Sigma honor students have heard, to each of you much has given, of each of you much is expected. You are the future. To borrow from Maya Angelou's poem, A Brave and Startling Truth, you are the possible, the miraculous, and the true wonder of this world. Be lifelong learners, honest, courageous, happy, and kind. We wish you all the best in your endeavors. Thank you. Serving one's country to protect its shores and freedoms has always been recognized as a sacrifice worthy of respect and admiration. Today, we recognize those graduates who have completed their ROTC training along with their degree program and are ready to become commissioned officers in our armed forces. At this time, I ask Lieutenant Colonel Mason Moore, Professor of Military Science, to come forward and deliver the oath of office to cadets Adam Craig, Joseph Hicks, and Austin McMurray. Will the cadet to be commissioned in the United States Army please come forward? Please raise your right hand. Say I, your state your full name, and repeat after me. Having been appointed an officer in the United States Army, in the rank of second lieutenant, do solemnly swear that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same that I take this obligation freely, without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion, and that I will well and faithfully discharge the duties of the office upon which I am about to enter. So help me God. Dr. Berry, the commissionee has completed all the requirements necessary to be commissioned in the United States Army as the second lieutenant. I present him to you and to his graduating class that you present him with this certificate of commission. In accordance with the recommendation of Lieutenant Colonel Moore, I congratulate you on your accomplishments and I am pleased to present your commissioning certificate. Thank you. It is now time. Is this one on? It is now time for the conferral of your degrees. Will the candidates for the bachelor's degree please stand? Bachelors. <laughs> President Barry, on behalf of the faculty, it is my pleasure to present to you these successful candidates for the bachelor's degree. And now for the coolest part of my job ever. By the authority vested in me by the University of Louisiana System Board of Supervisors, 
It is my pleasure to confer upon you the bachelor's degree. Congratulations. You may be seated. Will the candidates for all master's degrees please stand? <laughs> President Barry, on behalf of the graduate faculty, it is my pleasure to present to you these successful candidates for the master's degree. By the authority vested in me by the University of Louisiana System Board of Supervisors, it is my pleasure to confer upon you the master's degree. Congratulations. You may be seated. One more tradition. In accordance with academic tradition, please move your tassels from the right to the left to indicate your new status of graduates of ULM. Graduates, please come forward to receive your degrees. It is my pleasure to introduce the Dean of the Graduate School, Dr. Sushma Krishnamurthy, receiving the master's degree, Gihan Abdelkader, Kaylin Rowell, Devonda Brown, Jessica Hawkins, Megan Di Benabeto, Connor Catron, Danielle Kerr, Michael Long. Lindsay Washington, Alexia Day, Eugenia White, Betty Lewis, Sheila Snow, Gustavo Casares. India Marbs, Darian Jenkins, Macy Bates, Kalise Woods, Victoria George, Hope Marceau, Brandon Jackson, Yosha Lane, Shidia Watson, Corinne Eli, Catherine Pace, Henry Diaz Ruiz, Patricia Hammond, Laditra Moore, Caitlin McKay, Destiny Lunsford. Carly Civils, Kimberly Sargent, Tiriana Weary, Savannah Quinn, Taylor Carpenter. Olasumbo Balogun, 
Octavia Green. Breck McCullen. Aaron Withers. Erica Sledge. Tequesha Virgil. Brittany Ellerby. Jesse Owen. Hannah Travis. Zuena Easterling. Jacob West. It is my pleasure to welcome back the Interim Dean of the College of Business and Social Sciences, Dr. Peggy Lane. Receiving the bachelor's degree, Countess Ottomont. Caitlin Gudo. Karen Che. Caleb Clark. Kaylee Walker. JC Paris. Miranda Finley. Elizabeth Antley. Karsten Harris. Katharina Swallow. Chance Davis. Thomas Evans. Olivia Bailey. Wallace Wiggins. Matthew Wiggins. Ainsley Yarbrough. Magdalena Flores. Daniela Bernabe. Christian Hernandez. Yang Win. Olivia Kelly. David Robert. Michael Sullivan. Carrie Maroney. Tynesha Cato. Dominique Potter. Graduating with a GPA of 4.0, Caitlin Godin. <laughs> Philip Carpenter. Morgan Thompson. Sandra Wilson. India Ferguson. Destiny Hemphill. Brittany Harbin. Sydney Jones. Adrienne Drago. Landon Despino. Arian Johnson. Rachel Abadi. Ryan Skelly. Angela Chason. Christian Strickland. 
Ashton Fust. Olivia Boudreau. Cameron Studer. Ellie Young. Rebecca Jennings. Bebek Shamlegain. McKenna Kaisi. Jahanvi Walia. Camille Miller. Leah McKittrick. Matthew Gore. Reagan Edwards. Emily Prudhomme. Andrea Whitley. Carelli Alviso. Alexis LaPrairie. Alexis Franklin. Rainy Amato. Caleb Dang. Marcus Ale. Mallory Kramer. Davion Henton. Shakoria Green. William Atkins. Dillard Sims. Hania Barnett. Katrina Hill. Orlanda Downs. Dionisha Woodridge. Leah Havard. Shania Lewis. Joseph Hicks. Ashlyn Dupree. Ava Bjornsdottir. Kelly Cooper. Cameron Adams. Thomas Smith. Austin Mears. Kaysen Rollins. Chandler Grayson. Andrew Wilhight. Graduating with a GPA of 4.0, Amber Elizabeth Smith. Ricky Rogers. Riley Lara. Caitlin Kenfield. Shacombria Taylor. Lauren Appleman. Ethan Poland. David, David Hagensey. Boston Bragg. Elbish Shrestha. Luke McManus. Edward Montague. David Guerrero. Lamisha Anderson. Sarah Davis.
Grace Beebe. Charlie Mock. Erica Fuller. Ethan Brown. Mania Williams. Kylie Milton. Sydney Tuber. Trenton Perkins. Savannah Wolford. Gavin Blanchard. Justin Netherland. Jordan Fobb. Alandra Thomas. Joshua Jenkins. Dorlisha Mayfield. Ashton Henderson. Zoe Nin. Jordan Black. Madison Cormier. Chelsea Pommier. Sarah Neal. Susanna Hennington. Brittany Hull. Kimian Gray. Logan Malone. Jonathan McAllister. Derek Sanders. Cameron Rowan. Gwendolyn Mosier. Cameron Ott. Rebecca Pittman. Deanna Honeycutt. Sharde Mahia. Graduating with a GPA of 4.0, Tamra Sanner Stanley. Courtney Stanley. Emilio Spiridonos. Paula Coleman. Heather Albritton. LaSherica Burks. Octavia Wilson. Megan Reese. Lily Weston. Chantal Okoyeze. Mariah Washington. Deasia Beamer. Jamisha Ricks. Ali Netherland. Kenzie Farquhar. Nathan Seward. Kevin Koo. Mara Lee Skipper. Caleb Ford. Joshua Sanders. Miles Simeon. John McKeel. Eric Burton. Sakila Bista. 
Albina Gautam. Himani Pudal. Vijita Adhikari. BJ Giri. Adharsh Adhikari. Alex Ray. Benjamin Gates. Jasmine Brooks. Kayla Scott. Jessica McNair. Kelly Pecote. Maya Shaw. Rebecca Roy. Lana Fairburn. Darius Johnson. Taylor LeBlanc. Madison Hudson. Aaron Perry. Leticia Henderson. Delisha Davis. Kirkatangia Lawson. Tyregenisha Mills. Tasha Harry. Koshariqua Kendall. Brianna Turner. Graduating with a GPA of 4.0, Shanta Rakshit Pakarol. Suraj Pudal. Sujan Lamgada. Sushant Kunwar. Prashanda Adhikari. Samir Batare. Som Singh Thakuri. Emerald Singh. Sagar Pun. Dipesh Tami. Nishal Simkada. Sumnima Sharma. Ramesh Gurung. Kripa Nepal. Graduating with a GPA of 4.0, Sulochan Acharya. Prativa Karki. Bibek Shrestha. Kalisha Winston. Rakia Banks. Justin Freestad. Framika Smith. Samir Kafla. Prajita Shah. Swapnil Adhikari. Graduating with a GPA of 4.0, Arohan Rimal. Desiree Greer.
Congratulations to our new graduates and thank you to our guests for your attendance today. Please do your best to maintain social distancing while safely exiting the Coliseum. The College of Business and Social Sciences 2021 Spring Commencement is now concluded.